to what concerns masking. Masking is a very important operation that will help, it, will help us to remove parts of the image that we don't want to analyze. In this case, we have a very annoying background. So we can try to remove that background from the image in order not to analyze it. That's simple, okay? We don't have to waste components or efforts trying to model a background that the only thing that will generate is noise, okay? Or difficulties. So we have several methods here implemented like PCA scatter plot, wavelength selection, PCA score surface, manual selection, or k-means clustering. Okay? Which method is the proper one is the one that solves the problem of removing the parts that we want to remove in the image, okay? For instance, in this case, if I do PCA scatter plot in PCX1 in PCA2, so the uh, HyperTools will perform a PCA model and will display the scatter plot of PC1 against PC2. And then with the mouse, I can select the area that I want, okay? In this case, we are talking just about selection, okay? We just select this area of the image. Here we are, done. So look, this area is related to this plastic only. So it's obvious that this, this didn't work. In any case, we can click in here, visualize invert mask. So this is the part we have chosen. And if I click again, this is the part we haven't chosen, but this is the part that we are gonna actually analyze if we don't say otherwise. That is with this button here, we have the ability of choosing this part for analysis or choosing this part for analysis. In this case, it's obvious that none of these choices is good. So I will just say erase, okay? But look how the things change when, for instance, I make an spectral preprocessing method before, like for instance, a little bit of a smoothing, seven, add, and a standard normal variate, add, okay? This is the, the data. And now I will do masking PCA scatter plot. PCX one, PCY two, and run. So it takes a little bit because it's making a PCA on the preprocessed image. In this case, it's this way. So let me just take, for instance, this part and this one here. There we are. Look at this. This is actually the background and these are the plastics you want to analyze. You see? In this case, this does not mean that you have to analyze your image afterwards with SMV and smoothing. What it means is that we have chosen, we have created a mask that directly displays the plastics and removes the background. So in this case, what we can do is to save this. We can save the pre-processed sample, that is fine, or we can save only the mask, you see? So afterwards, in order to load this image again, we could load it with the proper mask so we can save, we can skip all these steps in order to arrive to this point. If we are not happy with this mask, as I told you, we can make morphological operations, okay? But we will, we will learn how to do it later. Just let me show you a little bit more of the masks. So you can see it's convenient to make some pre-processing before doing the masking. One of the one of the pre of the masking methods that I like a lot is k-means clustering. K-means is an analytical method. In this case, what we do is to group pixels due to their similarity, okay, Euclidean distance or Mahalanobis distance or all the type of distances. In this case, I am not interested in um, re in making something analytical. What I am interested in is in removing the background. So I can think I have four plastics and one background. So let's see what happens if I say number of clusters, five. Run. It takes a while. It takes, it makes clustering uh, on the PCA of the score of the PCA model. Look at this. 
the first cluster is this plastic plus a little bit of this plastic plus a little bit of this plastic the second cluster is this plastic the third cluster is basically also in here this plastic the fourth cluster is something here plus this one and the fifth cluster is basically the background okay we could think i can select cluster number five accept and look at that this is what we have obtained and this is actually the inverse is what i really want so if we have this situation we have two options one to try to remove these parts with morphological operations or make a mask over a mask that is if i unclick here and click again and i do again k means clustering just to say something with four clusters in this case well it seems that for instance imagine that i want to use cluster number three and cluster number one so what I have to do is three, a space, one, accept. And there we are. Well, this is obviously not good enough, okay? So the option that could be good in here is to erase, yes. And make again a little bit of a smoothing, SMV. first as a first operation okay and now let's say k means number of clusters five run let's see what happens now well in here i can say i am interested in cluster number four and cluster number three if you want also cluster number two so four three two accept there we are okay i made a mistake here selecting the, the the clusters so what we will do is to erase everything and redo also another game i selected the wrongly one cluster but doesn't matter you see this is the way we can operate to create a good mask there are more methods implemented like wavelength selection in this case we can select one or two if we select two wavelengths, we can select, for instance, this one and this one. What we have here is the histogram displaying the ratio of the wavelengths, of the, of the intensities in the wavelengths. So in this case, we can select with our mouse from here up to the end. We can click outside, no problem. And look, now we could see the plastics well selected as well okay erase there is another method that is called pca score surface selection so i run it it will calculate the pca model and we have to select one of the principal components here so for instance component number one accept and from this one we can select which part of these pixels with this range, we can analyze. Okay, it's not it's not optimal, it's suboptimal, but okay. Erase. And finally, we can also select a manual selection. Okay, we have the option of doing a PCA or the average image and say number of crops that I want. In this case, I want four. So manually with the mouse and in this case it preserves the shape of the cut this is the first one okay this is the second one this will be the third one and this would be the fourth one so here we have we have the parts of the image that we need to analyze okay in this case what i would do say erase again yes i will repeat spectral pre-processing smoothing instead of 15 that is a little bit high i would say seven 
okay, add, and a standard normal variate, add, run, and in masking, I would say k-means. I particularly like k-means because as I told you, it's not an analytical tool. It's just a tool to remove backgrounds or to remove parts of the images that we don't want to analyze. And with k-means, we normally have really nice uh, results on, in, this, in this scenario. So look at this. I just want to eliminate cluster number one and number four, no, number five cluster number one and cluster number five, accept. Here we are. This is the background, but I want to analyze this, the inverted part. As you can see there are some pixels in here outside, or there are also these pixels left outside. What I will do is to include these pixels and remove these ones. And at the same time, to make a little bit of a scratching in here, okay? so. Morphological mask. I will make first an erosion. Okay, it will remove all these pixels and I scratch a little bit of the surface. And then I will fill the holes. Okay, there we are. Probably was too much. No problem. I will make a dilation again. Or an, an, an dilation. You see? And that is absolutely fantastic in this way. Okay.